Sponsored by Panasonic. Smart factory solutions for any mix, any volume. Introducing the new NPM W2S, the ideal placement solution for manufacturers who value reduced setup and change over time over volume. Welcome to the Panasonic booth here at SMT AI. Uh, delighted to be joined by Sean Robinson. Nice to see you again, Trevor, Sean. Always a pleasure to see you. Absolutely. So, lots of things always happening on this booth, so uh, it's hard to keep up. The NPM line uh, of, of machines, you've got the latest one uh, coming out this week, I believe, yes. um, the NPM WX. Correct, yes. Tell us a little bit about the features of that and, and the thinking behind it. Sure. Uh, the NPM W platform or the NPM series, we have over 31,000 since its inception now out in the field. And so obviously every so often you want to come out with the next generation of that platform. So uh, two years ago we came out with a DX platform which was a quad gantry. And now we've come up with the NPM WX and WXS. One is a dual beam and one is a single beam. So this allows us to have complete scalable capacity for everything from high volume all the way through uh, lower volume applications. So it really fits every need the North American market may need. So it's got a, gives you all the flexibility you need to, for, for any configuration. But um, what about um, feeder banks and everything else like that? Are we getting some harmonization coming in there? Absolutely. So one of the things that uh, was not always available on the previous generation was to have a common cart, also common board handling capability, mm -hmm. uh, and having the heads work ag across all the different platforms. So this uh, version of the NPM series is designed to have common feeder carts, common board handling capability, uh, and this allows us to obviously have more synergy. So now we can literally put all different variations mm -hmm. of these three platforms together in the same line potentially and have all the same hardware uh, work across the platforms. Um, there's 20% more feeder capacity on each machine, 20% uh, more throughput, 20% improvement in accuracy, uh, larger board size capability, and so on. So it comes with all the bells and whistles to carry us forward for the next few years until we come out with the next version. Right, so. okay, so I mean, <clears throat> slight increase in footprint, I assume? Yep, slightly. It's uh, roughly about eight inches longer. Right. Yep, but uh, it's still, in terms of line depth, actually a little bit less than what we had in the past, so. So you, you, you mentioned the uh, larger board size. I mean, are you able to start dealing with the, you know, the big LED uh, boards and things like this? Yep. Uh, with the NPM platform, we could never really get to a true 48-inch board capability. is 1.2 meters, but this platform can do a true 48-inch uh, length, and also we can do up to a 24-inch depth. So we can now uh, go after a lot of the larger server board applications, which uh, most customers want to have 24-inch capability, which this platform can do, and we can also do 12-inch uh, width for uh, dual lane. So uh, now we can expand uh, our dual lane capability for higher volume customers also. So, so really you can, you can reconfigure for everything from uh, low volume, high mix to, to, to high volume basically. Absolutely, yeah. So there's not a application that we cannot serve now with this platform. Uh, and it also comes with some advanced features for maintaining a high up time and utilization. Uh, it's got improvements in the user interface. It can do automatic recoveries, so if the machine detects uh, like a certain high pick PM level, mm -hmm. it will automatically do a self-reteach of feeders and things like that. Uh, if for whatever reason the machine stops and an error recovery screen comes up, you can automatically take control of the machine from your office uh, PC and also with remote devices. And then also for conditions where you absolutely have to go to the machine, we can give you through your smartwatch or your phone direction to go exactly what machine and what the issue is and how to resolve it. Right, okay, and all this is designed to, to maximize machine uptime and keep, keep the production flow going. And reduce the number of operators you require on the floor. Right, yep. absolutely. So. so let's talk a little bit about the, the software because that's also always evolving. Uh, you're on the Panasim platform. Yep. Uh, You've got a, the new platform coming out early next year, the IWLNB, I Correct. think it's called. Yep. They, yeah. uh, How do they work? <clears throat> so basically what we've done is we've developed a communication protocol and the single line server-based system that allows us to be able to integrate with a whole variety of different folks in the industry that complement our products. Mm. So for instance, we make laser markers, 
We make uh, pick and place machines, we make printers, but we don't make inspection machines, we don't make conveyors, we don't make ovens and other types of uh, products that are required. So the uh, philosophy behind the ILNB is to have a line-based system where we can collaborate with other companies to be able to do things like auto product changeover, traceability, dashboards to know what the status of the line is, uh, and so on, and we're expanding that portfolio as time goes on. But this allows us to offer a complete turnkey solution. And what's nice about the ILNB is it automatically comes with Panasim software installed, so all it is a matter of doing is actually activating whatever equipment you have in your production line to be able to get MES integration across the whole line with one Panasim product. That's interesting. I noticed that the example you're using here on the line is, is the Omron system, which is also known for producing these uh, AVG robots for supplying the line. So I assume they all talk to each other. We have a uh, large show going on in Japan this week uh, while I'm here at SMTA, and actually they've got complete factory integration demonstrations going on in Japan this week showing changing out feeder carts with AGVs, uh, being able to uh, change out nozzle changer capability uh, automatically in a wide range of different uh, functionalities, being able to load and unload feeders with uh, robotic capability and so on. So. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting some film footage of that soon so yeah. I can share it with customers here in North America. Would you like to see some of that maybe at Apex next year? You never know. You might, <laughs> we've got to keep our secrets, right? <laughs> so, okay. uh, very exciting. All right. Well, always a pleasure, Sean. Um, we look forward to uh, seeing the continuous innovation uh, that's coming out of the Panasonic stable. And thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Trevor. Thank I you. I appreciate it.